Alright guys, got some somewhat sad PTGT news. Not really because by the end of this video it is all going to be fixed and we're going to be taking care of a few little issues that just came up today. We have some typical high mileage uh, older vehicle things to deal with. That is we have a slight coolant leak unfortunately and some other leaks that I want to show you guys and talk about. So first of all, our coolant leaks are coming from these, I believe they're heater lines that run into the car. There's two lines and I'm just going to replace them both. You can see there's like a metal line right here and it's kind of rusty that line turns into rubber right there you can see the clamp right there I can point an arrow to it so you guys can see and I'll get a better shot once we get the intake out of the way and get some better light lines go like down under the intake and up and into the car right there they're for the heater and it is leaking from this end yesterday the car was still warm I jacked it up because I noticed some interesting sweet smells and uh, I checked the coolant level recently and it was actually a tiny bit low so once I jacked it up I saw that there was a pretty prominent little leak coming from those heater lines and that would explain why I could smell it because it's really close to the cab right up in there and it was really hot but also something interesting is you guys might remember I'll put the video up in the corner in case you haven't seen it But a little while back I had an issue with a coolant line that runs off of the turbo I thought the turbo had completely exploded because there was just white smoke everywhere And it was coming from near the turbo but if you guys remember it was actually this rubber hose I Point an arrow to that as well because there's a couple hoses up in there But that little hose right there that was leaking it basically just split open But I noticed a tiny 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 drip coming from what looked like this clamp Actually, wait, you can see it right there. I think you can see that tiny little just just really 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 small leak coming from that line that goes to the turbo which regardless is not good not something that we want I'm obviously not paid to say this or anything but this kit was one of the best investments I made for the shop this I got at Harbor Freight for like 70 or 80 bucks it's a whole pressure testing kit and I've actually used it on like the Cadillac DTS and we used it on Dean's Buick before used it on every car used it on the Taurus used it on the PTs before it has a ton of caps that fit a bunch of different purge tanks and radiator caps even the Cadillac DTS, which is apparently a hard one to find. It was a really awesome kit, definitely worth every penny. We are going to pump up to 18 pounds because that is what the cap says. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the NA PT Cruisers are like 16 pounds and the GT or any uh, SRT4 Turbo 2.4 is uh, 18 for some reason. I don't know. I would check, but the other PT is in here right now. All right, well, I already smell coolant. We have a drip. That's what's awesome about these is this finds any coolant leaks like immediately. I'm trying to do this so that no coolant leaks on my face. Oh wow, actually no, our drip is coming from that line right there, that turbo line. That's that's where I'm seeing the drip. Although uh, you see those heater lines are very wet now. That actual drip is coming from uh, that other line, which kind of sucks because that is a tight fit up in there. But that line is definitely in need of some replacement. Whew. Well, I didn't get it on tape, but it was a real pain <laughs> getting that hose off. Oh my god. Barely able to get at it with my fancy schmancy little hose pliers. Link to these down below on Amazon. I released a similar pair. Got the clamp loose, yanked on the hose, made a ginormous mess under the car, and uh, got coolant all over myself. But uh, we got it loose, and that's the main thing. So now I just gotta undo it from the side of the car, which shouldn't be quite as bad. Take it to Napa and uh, pick up some new hose. And a few minutes later, there's our old hose. Man, look at how nasty the end of that is. No wonder why I was leaking a little bit. This wasn't barely as bad as that other hose though, which I still have to take off. But thankfully, I put worm drive clamps on that, so that'll be easy to take off. I'm definitely gonna put some nicer worm drive clamps on it this time around though. Ah, the air cooler pipe is such a pain, but I had to get it out of the way to remove this little turbo line. As you guys can see, it is uh, not in the in the happiest of shape. <laughs> One of these clamps, I think it was the lower clamp, I was able to loosen just like by putting the socket on the end and loosening with my fingers. This one, I had to use a wrench, and the way it was positioned, although it's kind of hard to position it any better way, the idiot that put it in there, I wonder who that is, positioned this so that you <laughs> literally had to take this intercooler pipe out. I might try to get an already pre-bent line for that because that is a tight spot, but we shall see. I know that I am definitely going to to, like take a shower or something because I'm literally like my shirt and everything is soaked in coolant and that stuff is nasty Two thousand years late. This was one expensive little little piece of hose <laughs> No clue where I left off the filming, but I ended up going to Napa Auto Parts seeing my boys down there And I got of course our little hose for the turbo right here. There's the old one and here's our brand new one I got brand new clamps too. the heater hose I decided to get one pre-bent because it is in a really tight spot and actually Rick down at Napa He was showing me that this is actually flared out a little bit It's a little bit bigger so wouldn't really be able to fit anything else on it You really have to get an OEM style or pre-bent hose 
No place around here had one just like that. They ended up ordering one out of like Delaware or something. Came UPS, I got extra fast shipping or whatever to get it here in time so that I could get this done before the weekend. It's already like a 25 or $30 hose, but with that freight shipping and tax, it totaled at about a little over $40. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous, but oh well. I guess I can't complain, it's 40 bucks and uh, it's never gonna leak again. Gonna go ahead and start working on installing them now. I'm gonna actually go ahead and do the turbo hose first. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that to size and I'm gonna wrap it with some heat wrap. I have some exhaust heat wrap right here. Some of this titanium exhaust wrap. I forgot why I got it a while ago, but that is what I'm going to try to use. That's what we're going to attempt now wearing my nice little headlamp because my work light is completely dead i really i need to buy new work lights and i need good lighting mm, coffee <laughs> so i think now is the time for me to finally get some new ones but i already went ahead and installed our hose just now and got the clamps tightened down so i had an idea of how this could be a lot easier i think what i'm going to do with the heat wrap is instead of like wrapping it around like this I'm going to wrap it sideways and put it on the other side and then, you know, re-clamp it or whatever. But I feel like that should be good enough. It's at least a little better than what's there. All right, here goes nothing. I already got the insulation soaked real good. The main thing is trying to attach it. I have a couple of clamps up in here. I'm sure you can't actually see anything right now. I don't know why I'm even talking right now because if you can't see, I'm probably not going to include this clip. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> oh, boys, that is a bunch of crap. That is really tight up in there, but um, I made some progress. I don't think those little hose clamps are gonna work. Wish I thought about it ahead of time because they do make these like metal zip tie sort of things that are meant for stuff like that. That would work perfectly. I didn't cut my wrap quite long enough, so it's trying to fray on the end, kind of like kind of like this piece did. But I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow morning. I gotta go get a tube for one of the tires on one of the tractors. Anyways, I'll go and I'll get some of those little metal. They're basically like metal zip ties. The neck. I forgot where I left off filming again. I'm not good at this. <laughs> Coolant lines are kind of brutal, as you guys know, and uh, yeah. I went ahead and put this heater line in, and I got the intake thrown back in, and I threw the little lines. Of course that pump has to come on right now. Reused the stock clamps because, well, for one thing, I forgot to get new ones, but they were in pretty good shape, and uh, I just went ahead and reused them. So went ahead and finished all that up, and topped it off with water, and went ahead and did a quick little pressure test. Did all that off camera because you guys already saw me do a pressure test, and that job was just brutal. Now we good, and, uh, and like I said before, I am planning to do like a whole flush and everything and replace that thermostat when it comes in the mail on Monday, along with a bunch of other stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for that. You're gonna be getting a ton of stuff done in that video because all my parts will be here. But yeah, I went ahead and put the intake on and everything, and I got the car back on the ground after having it up on jacks like really high up on jack stands for so long i really appreciate how low it is again but anyways um one last thing that i want to check on before we take this thing out and go for a little spin i want to get some driving action in this video and my goal now is to get at least a little bit of driving action in every single video so that's what we're going to shoot for but before we do that i want to take this wheel off and i want to take a closer look at that cv axle because i'm starting to wonder if there's something going on with the boot and that's why there was some grease slung up there all right guys we got it up off the ground Everything looks good, there's no play in the wheel, but if you listen. That sounds like a lot of clicking. <laughs> Pretty sure that sound we're hearing is coming from the inner CV joint, so it could be like really low on grease too, which isn't good. And also, look at the mo look at the motor when I really yeet on the wheel. <laughs> oh my god. My motor mounts are like practically non-existent. Well, thankfully, that's something we're gonna be taking care of at the beginning of this week. And with our wheel out of the way, you can see the grease marks right there. I, I kind of touched them with my finger, but there was like a little blob of grease here on the boot. I can't find like an actual tear or anything. Probably pretty small. And if you look over here, the grease is literally just like slung everywhere. Ginormous mess, but um, I think there is probably a small puncture. Guys, I don't know, I've been kind of conflicted over rather to just do the boot or replace the whole axle, but I feel like there's a little bit of play in this, like when I hold my hand on it, I can feel that click like right inside. There's definitely like more play than normal. I did notice actually a noise. I don't remember, I think it was the day before actually I put this on the lift. I was turning really sharp. What was I doing? Oh, I was in, I was in traffic and I was like waiting for a car to come so that I could turn and when the car came I was turning sharp and I, I was turning and I probably got on a little bit and I heard a really weird like a pretty loud uh, clunking sound or something and I wondered what it was and it could have been that being really stressed that inner one and it could have popped or something. <sighs> I kind of was hoping to actually get that done today if I just had to reboot it but oh, I will uh, talk more about that 
in the next video. In the meantime, I don't really know. Even though we can't go out and go for a rip in today's video, I think we should at least get this thing cleaned up because it is absolutely filthy. So let's finish up with a little bit of detailing. so pretty why are you so pretty dude this angle is so cool like on a little bit of a hill that's kind of cool I'm an artist okay don't judge me <laughs> kind of interesting because like I'm more of a stancy boy I am kind of more of an artist in personality and that's kind of what I love about cars I look at cars as a ginormous piece of art and it's kind of a way of self-expression too. the way you piece everything together it's just kind of you know expressing yourself through modifying your car in a way. That's why I love to detail. That's why I love learning to do things like dipping the car and doing all the exterior stuff. And why I've never been super like in a hurry to do stage one, stage two, and like really up the boost and you know, all that kind of fun stuff. Although it is extremely fun to go fast. And as you can see, this car is getting some mechanical attention right now. The artistic end of cars is definitely my thing. And I hope we can reflect that, continue to reflect that more and more through the videos. This car is uh, going to get some CV axle attention very soon, as well as many other things. As soon as my parts come, it might actually come tomorrow, which is exciting. And that means the video will be out sooner than expected. So be sure and stay tuned for that. Follow us on Instagram for continuous updates and also smash the subscribe button. Be encouraged guys, life is good. Even when you have a piece of crap PT Cruiser that leaks, you can still dip it and make it look as cool as you can. <laughs> and you can make videos on it and uh, be a part of a really neat little community. Anyways guys, again, thank you so incredibly much for watching and for supporting. You rock, I love you all. God bless and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.